Winning Mindset Traits and Developing Mental Toughness People with winning mindsets have a number of traits in common, and you need to develop these traits as well. It is not easy to cultivate the winning mindset, and you're going to face a number of challenges along the way. With the right mental toughness, you will easily bounce back from any setbacks and achieve your goals. There are going to be times when you are faced with problems that you don't know how to solve, and this can overwhelm you. Then there will be times when you are tired and do not have the energy to get your tasks done. Everyone has these problems. So how do people with winning mindsets overcome these issues and keep moving forward? The answer is that they have a mental toughness that sees them through the difficult times. We call this an iron resolve, which means that whatever situation they are in, they will get through it and keep going. When you have a winning mindset, you will not use escapism tactics such as watching junk on TV or spending hours on social media. If an issue starts to overwhelm you, then you will quickly snap out of this state and look for an answer. Use the law of inertia. What is the law of inertia? The best way to explain it is that it is difficult to change at the beginning, but once you have worked on that change for a while, there will be a great force to keep going with it. This is because you change the neural connections in your brain. In order to make this work for you, it is important that you push yourself to do something even when you do not feel like doing it. You're going to have bad days where you just don't want to work on your tasks. The best way to get out of this state is to push through it. When you do this, you will confirm to your subconscious mind that you are a winner. Winning Mindset Traits There are six traits that all people with a winning mindset have. 1. Start 2. Prioritize 3. Focus 4. Persistence 5. Review 6. Organization Let's take a look at each of these in turn. Start People with winning mindsets always start, and that means start right now. Don't wait around for anyone or anything. The time to start is right now. When you start, you will utilize the power of inertia. Writing a book starts with the first few words. So just make a start and keep going. But what if you can't make a start right now? What if the thing that you want to do is just too difficult for you? Never believe that anything is too difficult for you. Just make a start on it. Most things are nowhere near as difficult as they seem at first. Break a large task down into smaller components and make a start. If you have too many things on your daily to-do list and don't know where to start, then this can overwhelm you and it can lead to you starting nothing. So in this situation, you need to develop the second trait, which is to prioritize. Okay, so you have seven tasks that you want to complete today. Which one do you want to start with? We recommend that you start with the task that will nag at you all day if you don't do it. Maybe this is paying a bill or responding to an important email. For some reason, you've been putting this off and now the pressure is really on. You do not want to have this kind of pressure in your life, so just do this thing first. You will feel so much better afterwards and empowered to get the other tasks done. If something is stressing you out, then it will be hard to concentrate on your other tasks. The next priority is to choose the easiest task on your list. This may be contrary to what you have learned before. A lot of guides will tell you to tackle the most difficult thing first, but we do not agree with this. By tackling something easy, you build momentum to move on and use the law of inertia to your advantage. This does not mean that you should procrastinate over difficult tasks, of course. You need to complete these as well. It's just a lot easier to tackle the more difficult tasks when you have the momentum from already completing easier tasks. So after completing a task that is going to stress you out if you don't complete it and completing the easiest task on your list for momentum, you need to take a look at the remaining tasks and prioritize them in order of importance. Then complete each one in order. Focus. The ability to concentrate fully on what you are doing until it is complete is one of the most powerful tools in a winning mindset, and it will build your mental toughness. It is tougher now to focus on things than it ever was before because today's world is full of distractions. Make sure that you avoid obvious distractions. Don't try to work on your tasks with the TV blaring in the background. Similarly, it will be really tough for you to complete your tasks in a room full of people that are talking. You know the things that are going to distract you, so avoid them. It is almost impossible not to be distracted all of the time. When this happens, you need to refocus on what you were doing again. If you are the type of person that has a wandering mind, then keep focusing until it becomes second nature. Persistence. This is another great winning mindset trait that you simply must develop. Persistence wins wars, wins gold medals at the Olympics, creates multi-billion dollar companies and finds cures for diseases. It is the total opposite of giving up. When you give up on something, no matter how small, your subconscious receives the wrong signals, and this will make you more likely to give up again in the future because you strengthen this neural connection. 
Why do people give up? One of the most common reasons is fear of failure. Do you think that people with winning mindsets didn't make mistakes and feel like giving up at some point? Of course, they did. But they didn't give up because they were persistent. They learned from their failures and they moved forward. If you are in a situation where you feel like giving up, then get out your why statement and read it. This will light a fire under you and give you the motivation to keep on going. Stand up and move your body. Punch the air and say out loud, come on, to give yourself renewed energy. Keep working on persistence. It is a very valuable mental toughness trait to have. You will never develop a winning mindset if you keep giving up. Persistent people always win the day. Review. It is very important to review what you are doing regularly to see if you are on the right track. If you don't do this, then you can spend a lot of time and energy moving in the wrong direction. Let's say that one of your goals is to lose weight. One way to review this is to step on the scales regularly. But there is more to it than that. Does your new regime make you hungry and tired? Are you feeling healthier through what you are doing or unhealthier? When you review the things that you are doing, it will tell you what is working and what isn't. You can do more of what is working and take a different approach with the things that are not working out as you expected. Organization. If you are disorganized in your life, then this will present you with a number of challenges that you can easily avoid. Imagine needing something to complete a task and not having a clue where it is. This can be a computer file or a physical document, for example. You have to find it, and this will stress you out and waste your valuable time. There's no magic wand to wave for better organization. It is just something that you have to do. Just practice being more organized with your computer and important documents at your home and office. In the next video, we will discuss the importance of a daily routine to develop your winning mindset. In the final video, we will discuss the best practices to develop a winning mindset.